Today is a special day for me. Kurt, our son, has offered to be my guide to a community not too far from his home. It seems that Katie has to work and Shelly is feeling a little under the weather. So it would be just the two of us. I'm pretty stoked. We are staying at the Thousand Trails La Conner, so it was a quick drive to his home. Looks like I interrupted some log splitting work. I love those shoes. But I am gonna stay just one more night So I can trick myself a cute word here The first order of business was to stop and get stamps for Shelley's National Parks Passport at Edie's Landing, a National Historic Reserve. Just our luck, it's closed and we couldn't find any stamps in the box by the ranger station. We are on the ferry to Port Townsend, this being only my second ferry ride. The first while we were in Louisiana a couple of seasons ago. We never got out of the car then. Now we could have taken Kurt's truck, but that can be a bit more expensive than just being a walk-on. And supposedly the town is right there, and most everything is within walking distance. So Kurt Park, we bought our tickets right there in a kiosk and boarded. Now this I hadn't done before. It wasn't very full, but there was a fair amount of vehicle traffic and RVs. Seems there are some nice parks to stay at on the peninsula. Without the ferry, it would be about a two-hour drive to get to the port. We walked up to the rear of the boat and noticed that it was making a couple of significant course corrections, almost as if the captain was trying to avoid something. With all of my seagoing knowledge, little to none, I speculated, iceberg. Iceberg! Get ahead! Too many movies. Kurt pointed out a smallish sailboat. Oh, okay. Oh, that, look at that, how close that sailboat was. Yeah. Maybe that was it. We walked up and over to the bow to watch the docking procedure. Yeah, it was only about a half hour ride. That is a lot of bumpers to funnel the boat into the dock. It's pretty interesting. I guess the boat never really turns around, so there are two bridges. 
one for whichever way it's going, and thrusters, props, or who knows what for each direction. It sure does churn a lot of water when it's slowing down to dock at the ramp. Kurt said this was one of the smaller ferries too. We disembarked and found the town to be really nice. Port Townsend is best known for having more than 300 Victorian-style homes in a city with a population of less than 10,000. Back in the mid-1800s, town planners expected the city to be the biggest port in the state because of its position on Puget Sound. So, they built it up big time. It is very dog friendly and there were street performers galore. We stopped at a soda shop for a quick bite and a drink. I had a club sandwich and Kurt got the fish tacos. Both were excellent. Then we continued our walk. There we go. I'll feed but you the I've, lines. I've forgotten already. What's the name of the town? Port Townsend. Port Townsend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got to work on your camera angles. You're cutting my head off. <laughs> and look at this. <laughs> Getting hooked. Yeah, I got hooked. Still got the old. Got hooked by my camera. Kurt made a great suggestion. We had seen an e-bike rental stand down the road from the dock. Yeah, I was game. I've been waiting to give them a try for quite some time. The plan was to ride out to the lighthouse about seven miles away. He said that he and Katie had walked it and even though they enjoyed it, he were pooped by the three-hour trip, and they still had to walk back. Okay, these things are a blast. We rode right past a wedding party. Sorry, folks. Hope we didn't photobomb those wedding shots. stopped at Fort Warden State Park, which reminded me some of Colonel's Row at Fort Huachuca in Arizona. Then, through a couple of state RV parks, I could see staying at one. And finally, to the Point Wilson Light. And of course, it was closed. So, back into town.
We stopped at the town's fire bell tower, where we heard the fairy's horn. Seems they were a little early. So this is what a fire bell tower looks like. There's the fairy. That's a mosey ass little fairy. Especially if you're standing on the bow. Mm -hmm. Riding back, we caught a glimpse of a local car rally and turned in the bikes. 14 miles, 3 hours, lots of hills, and I didn't pedal once and still had 80% battery left. 40 bucks each for the 3 hours. I could get used to this. We walked up to a small restaurant on the water and ordered drinks and a quick bite before heading back. Can I get some drinks going for you? He just went into order. Okay. So my son should be back in a minute. Okay. Can't miss him. Full beard. Yeah, green shirt. I see him. Do you yeah. see him? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Fly away. Am I here? <laughs> You're there. I'm showing you my wings. Your big old wings. <laughs> Very cool, man. I like it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We purchased our return tickets and waited in queue to board. What a beautiful sunset cruise we had going back. After docking, right near Fort Casey, Kurt swung by the Admiralty Head Lighthouse, which was closed again, so I could get a few quick shots of it and the water. I'm going to definitely bring Shelly back here to Port Townsend and have us both check the town out.
This was a wonderful day with Kurt. It's not often anymore that I get a chance to try out all my worn out old dad jokes on anyone. Sorry, Kurt. Thank you, sir, for a great time. We hope you guys enjoyed our escapades for the day, and we'll be back next week for more of our license to travel. Why, you might even see another ferry or two. Just make sure you travel safe.